Hey guys, if you landed on this video, you're going to be so glad you did. If you got a Super Nintendo that is not reading your cartridges, and this is what I did. I opened it up, pay about two bucks for a screwdriver, look up Super Nintendo screwdriver on eBay, and you'll find that, and you get the six screws out the bottom. The top piece comes right up. You don't actually have to take the thing apart if you don't want to, but I'm just, I got right in there to show you guys the video. Um, and what you're going to do is take a credit card, or an old card like this, wrap it in some very thin piece of cloth and what I mean by wrap it is you're going to sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand do this fold it over have it real nice and tight this isn't working out for me with one hand uh, real nice and tight like that put some alcohol I got some alcohol spray right here and what you're gonna do is just go in and out of here and you're cleaning your pins like I said you don't actually have to take it apart just keep going in and out cleaning the pins off um, that should clean all your little gold pins. You see that little notch that gets in the way right there? What you're gonna do is take a scissors and cut out a small little notch, same thing, insert it in and out so you can get on those ones, and then try to insert your game and it should work just fine. If that doesn't work and you think you got some pop or some gunk and it's just not getting it, um, what I did is I folded some sandpaper to make it about the size of the credit card and it's a fine grit. And what I did is just inserted it in and out and I, w I didn't use the card inside of here because this is going to be pretty thick, thick enough to... All you're doing is grinding up against those, making those gold pins um, have contact with your uh, your video game. And this should fix your uh, non-reading 62-pin um, Super Nintendo. So thanks for watching, and if it works for you, hit the like button. That's all I ask. Thanks a lot.